In September last year, most of the people here at the El Jali IDP camp lost their homes to severe floods in and around Belatwain in the Hiran region. Djiboutian soldiers serving with the African Union Mission in Somalia, or AMISOM, helped evacuate affected families to dry land and have since been providing security, clean water and other supplies to approximately 400 people camped here at El Jali. The international community and our Somali brothers and sisters should do whatever they can to help us. We've got lots of problems here. For example, we need water and shelter. Let them come and give whatever they can. Located some 300 kilometers from the capital, Mogadishu, Bella Twain was under the control of extremist group Al-Shabaab until December 31, 2011, when members of the Ethiopian Defense Force, working with the then transitional federal government and pro-government militia groups, ousted Al-Shabaab. In September 2012, soldiers from Djibouti serving under the African Union mission in Somalia arrived in Belatwain and took over security operations. Belatwain, located in the fertile Hiran region, is not only Somalia's fifth largest city, it's also a critical trading hub for the entire country. Animals from the Belatwain livestock market are shipped to Mogadishu, Busaso, Berbera, for domestic consumption and export to the Gulf states. Amisom's presence in the area and support to the Somali National Army have made it possible now for entrepreneurs to resume their business activities after years of brutality and unlawful taxation by Al-Shabaab had scared them off. If security was bad, there would be no one here. If it wasn't safe, this market would not be bustling the way it is now. Somalia has seen major changes over the last 22 months as large swathes of territory and major towns and cities were liberated from the once feared Al Shabaab by government forces backed by Amisom. The Djiboutian contingent are fondly referred to as Hil Walal, which means brother supporter or helpmate by Balatwain's residents for their role in repulsing sporadic attacks by Al Shabaab, resolving clan disputes providing humanitarian assistance and promoting commercial activity. As Amisom, we appealed to the local population to place their trust in us. They did, and it has made our jobs easier and has helped us interact well with the community here, which is very important, and we've managed to integrate really well with all levels of society. Amisom is also training over 500 former pro-government militia fighters that have now been integrated into the Somali National Army in IED detection and demining, first aid and quick response, and tactical driving, as well as communications. Amisom's goal is that eventually the Somali National Security Forces will be sufficiently trained and equipped to protect the population from the Al-Qaeda-associated Al-Shabaab. In the meantime, Balatwain's people are gaining more and more confidence every day that their dreams and prayers for peace and prosperity in their city and country are becoming a reality.